Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, August 22nd, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Finise Monitor, we have two-time Olympian Chloe Sutton, who is one of those rare swimmers to make the Olympic team in the pool and open water. Chloe joins us right now from her home in Mission Viejo, California. Chloe, good to see oh, you again. Hi. How you doing? Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great to be on again. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's also great to be back home after a long time away. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it was everything the past couple months have been absolutely amazing, but it's always nice to be able to come home and just relax a little bit. And I imagine you're taking a little break from the pool. Yeah, I'm taking a little break, I think about a month, um, and it's, it's driving me crazy, honestly, but I, I feel like I really need this break, so it's, it's good for me. Is this, um, is, was this break decided on by you or by Coach Rose? Um, I mean, kind of a joint, you know, decision. Coach Rose is at Junior Nationals and a bunch of open water races right now, and um, he, he knows that I needed a break, too, so he told me to just relax, make sure I cross-train a little bit, so I've been hiking and running and trying to stay in shape, but... Yeah, you're, you're not the type I mean of... I that I'm going to... I was going to... Sorry, you're, you're, you're not the type of person I would imagine who can just sit still. <laughs> No, absolutely not. I have to keep very active. So, yeah, I just, it's the mental break that I really needed. Right, right. So, I, you swam the 400 free in London, didn't really get the result you wanted. I'm sure you wanted to make that Olympic final. Uh, but overall, what did you learn from your time in London? Um, I mean, every, you know, this was my second Olympics, so I'm, I will say every Olympics, but, you know, you go through. The, you know the whole process and you come out almost a different person you know you mature throughout the whole process and and I just an infinite amount of things on myself and new things about just the world and life in general it's it's the whole thing is just such a growing process I think the thing that I learned the most is that, um, that I really need to work on being more aggressive um, and you know not to just swim prelims and expect to make finals so um, I, I know the things I need to change, and I'm really excited to be able to sit down with Coach Rose and discuss everything and make the changes that I need to make. And I'm sure it's full steam ahead to 2016? Absolutely. Um, you know, I'm coming out with Glenn's Blaze, and I'm going to get back in the water middle of September and just attack it, and I'll be, I'll be ready for Barcelona, and I think I might be going to Short Course Worlds in December, and um, I mean, I'm just going to start back up and not stop until we get to Rio. Now, how did your performance in London, how does your performance in London motivate you for what's to come in these next four years? Um, you know, I don't know if it was my performance in general that motivated me. It was watching everybody else afterwards. And, um, you know, I only swam on day two and then I was able to sit in the stands and really be a part of the cheering section of Team USA. And I was just so inspired watching everybody do so amazing. I was, you know, you, see, you know, you dance and, you know, part of me is just so wishing that I could be up there, you know, winning a medal or, you know, swimming as amazing as most of our team did. And, um, you know, and then the other part of me is just so happy for everybody that, that swam. So, um, so yeah, just, just being able to be a part of it and watch everybody and, see the emotions that people go through and want that for myself. That's, that's the most inspiring thing for me. Do you think anything drastic is going to change for you in, and out, in or out of the pool? Um, yeah, I'm going to make some, I guess you could say, drastic changes. Um, just kind of focusing on being more of a pool swimmer. Um, you know, I still kind of train in like a long distance swimmer, so now I'm going to be able to focus more on sprint work, speed-based type stuff. Um, trying to get that going out speed in all my races. I, I, I know I can't negative split my races anymore. That's just not going to work. That worked so well when I was an open water swimmer, but you know, I can't just wait till the end. 
So, um, work on speed. Um, I think I'm going to change my dry land a bit. I'm going to change my body shape. I want to really lean, lean up and um, I'm kind of starting gluten free right now to see how that works. And just, I think most of this time for the next couple of years is going to be playing with things and what works and what doesn't. And just, yeah, experimenting with my training and figuring out a way to be faster. Now you, after the 2008 Olympics where you swam in the first open water Olympic race, you decided in 2010 that you were going to focus only on pool swimming. Looking back, do you wish you had at least stayed with the open water training and maybe even competing in it? No, I, I don't regret my decision at all. I'm, I knew at the time what I needed to do and what I wanted to do with my swimming. I'm, I'm very happy with my decision. I still love open water. You know, I have so many friends that do open water, and I support them in that. And um, you know, I still follow the sport really closely, but I, I don't have any want to really compete in it anymore. I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I imagine when you got back from, from London, there was a, a lot of support from that Mission Viejo family, which has a lot of history with putting people on the Olympic team. Tell me what that support has been like for you since the trials. Yeah, my whole swim team is so supportive. Everybody is, you know, a part of this journey with me. And um, I, you know, I love the whole community and how much they've put into me being able to get to this place. Um, and then, of course, my family, you know, this was, they actually got to go to London with me, which was their first time out of the country, their first time traveling with me to a swim meet. And the support that they've shown throughout the whole process and their confidence in me for the years to come has meant a lot. I know you've said in the past in interviews and whatnot that, you know, you, you probably wouldn't be where you are without um, the work that you've put in with Coach Rose. Tell me what that dynamic is like between the two of you. Um, I mean, I could go on forever about Coach Rose, but I think the simplest way to put it is that we understand each other, and he knows how hard I am on myself, so he's able to keep me happy, keep me light, but still keep me motivated at the same time. And um, You know, you, you, it's just so obvious how smart he is with talking to me, and because, <laughs> you know, I'm a... I'm most teenage girl. I guess I'm 20 now. I can't call myself a teenager anymore, but, but he's good at just managing my... I guess, you know, emotions and my, um, my passion. You know, he's good at making sure that it's a productive source of energy for me instead of something that makes me waste energy because, because I am so passionate about my swimming and, um, you know, I, I get so into it and sometimes I just have these blinders on and he helps me just, you know, just relax a little bit and open myself up and make sure that I'm not, you know, burying myself into my swimming. So, He's just, he's a great person. He's, you know, just just such a friend to me. And um, and being a coach also, he's he's got the best, he's got my best interests. And um, I, I just love working with him. Now you've been on the national scene for pretty much the last five years, mostly in open water. You've made it in the transition into the pool. What are your thoughts on how your career has gone so far? Um, I honestly thought I would be a lot farther along at this point. Um, I was really hoping to come home with a medal or a, of some kind, you know. I was hoping in 2008 and then, you know, I was planning on it this time and, you know, it was just things don't work out and, you know, but then you look at so many people like, like Dana Vollmer who, you know, really broke out this year and I, I still have hope that, you know, I have a lot more in me and maybe even once I change some things and figure out my training and, you know, my diet and a lot of other things a little bit more, hopefully have that as well in me someday. But right now I'm just enjoying the ride. I mean, I got to go to the Olympic Games. I'm so grateful for that. And the experiences that I've been able to have and being a part of such, you know, something so huge as the London Olympics and, the you know, the 2012 Olympic swim team. And, you know, you can see just, you know, the whole team is just so amazing. I'm just so lucky to be a part of that. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. And plus, like you said, you're 20 years old. You've got a long history, long swimming career ahead of you. So, thank you. There's, yeah. there's plenty more, a lot more time to, to reach those goals. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great to see you again, Chloe. Enjoy the rest of your vacation, and um, I'm sure when you get back in the pool, it'll be uh, you and Coach Rose will be grinding it out like you guys do at Mission Viejo. Yep, that's we plan on that. Thank you so much. See you later. All right. See you later, Chloe. All right, so that's Chloe Sutton talking about her experiences in London, and that's going to do it for today's Morning Swim Show. As always, we invite you to comment and join us on Facebook and Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at Swimming World. 
I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.